Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it feels like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do-do-do-do. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. but he's a dear friend of mine. But uh, we're all in awe of people that we are, uh, are standing in front of us right now. The Manchester Survivors Choir, welcome to all of you. Now, we don't have all 30 of you. There are usually 30, aren't there, Kath? Uh, actually, there's nearly 80 of us now. 80? Yeah. Wow. Well, the studio's not quite big enough for no. all of you, unfortunately. <laughs> we miss our friends, it has to be said. <laughs> well, they're singing with you in spirit from around yeah. the country. Um, so the Manchester Survivors Choir, Kath, so mm -hmm. could you explain who is here with you? Could you introduce the people who are here with you, the oh, very yeah. important people? Yeah, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to my friends. So next to me here, I have Catherine Burke and your... 13, 12, you see, she looks so grown up, that's why. 12 years old, she's here with her mum, Anne, and then also with her dad, Dara. I've got Ava with me and her mum, Fiona, and I've got my son, Jake. And we're all here because we're members of Manchester Survivors Choir, as you said. Um, we were all directly affected by the Manchester terrorist attacks that happened nearly two years ago now. And... Um, Whilst we were all struggling to cope and, and, and finding different ways to get over what we'd experienced, we decided to create something positive and actually try and do something to bring us together to make us feel better and to be around people that really get it and understand what we've been through. But also to create something lovely and have a bit of fun singing and trying to feel better. And singing is one of those incredible things. I'm mean, Stephen, you, you know, but as a singer, but there, I, I've worked with... Uh, other charities and suddenly when there's music it fills your heart and suddenly you you, you feel free to be able to yeah. express things don't you absolutely and actually lots of the young people really enjoyed singing and performing arts that's why they were at an hour in a grande concert so we realized that but actually many of them were struggling to get back into music because of suffering from post-traumatic stress so actually to do it together made it work and that you know we were nervous at first we were really nervous and then we got singing and I remember saying the first time we went, actually, we're quite good. I mean, <laughs> that was the bigger choir, but we're quite good as us. But um, no, we were, it was just joyous, actually, to hear the music come out. And, um, you know, even when we get it wrong, actually, we have a bit of a laugh and it's funny. And, we, you know, it, it doesn't need to be taken too seriously. Yeah. And, and for that time when you sing, especially because none of us were professional singers in any way, we just went to a concert one night. We have to really focus, or, or maybe that's just me, but I have to really focus to know, uh, the, you know, the words and the tune and stuff. So um, you kind of, it's like mindfulness. You just mm. have to really zone in on that. And so, you know, you kind of forget stuff for a while and that's really nice. And to do that with people that have become incredibly close friends is wonderful. Now, I, we don't need to talk about that horrific incident. We really don't need to. But what I'd like to talk about is the fact that at least you've got people around you that understand because mm. all of us, our hearts bled. We It was the most horrific news to wake up to. But for all of you, you understand it because you were there. So suddenly those those strange feelings that you get over the past couple of years, you can share with somebody who'll yeah. just say, oh, you know what? I get that. Yeah, absolutely. And that was the joy of our choir, actually, because, you know, people were tired or... You know, it was really um, emotional to retell the stories, especially some people had incredibly difficult stories to tell. So actually, we didn't need to do that if we didn't want to. We didn't do that straight away with the choir. The fact that we knew we'd all been there, we had a, a common bond from the beginning. Um, but also, you know, we've done lots of things. We've been lucky to do performances. And sometimes we just look at each other and we know, like, if there's a particular loud noise or something, we just, I just need to look at, my, at the eyes of my friends and I know that they know what we're thinking. Of course. I also, thank you very much. You brought me the most beautiful, beautiful scarf with bees all over it. Can you, can you explain the significance of this scarf? Because like, you said something about the floor of the arena. Yeah, actually, it's not the arena. It's of, of Manchester uh, City Town oh, Hall. Oh, right. And so that's the tiles are on the floor and they're very distinctive actually and they're very beautiful and then of course it has the bee on the worker bee for Manchester mm. and the bee has become such a symbol for us it's something that's drawn us together we've spent quite a small fortune between us on buying bee products I have to tell you <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we wanted to bring this for you here today uh, a, a woman from Manchester has been making these scarves she's uh, donating some of the money to um 
the Manchester Fund, which isn't just about supporting people from the arena, but is about supporting the homeless, etc. Most of us have got them in choir because they're beautiful scarves, as you can see. Uh, so we wanted to support that and we wanted to bring it down and then you could be part of our beat family. Well, that's really cool. I'm really overwhelmed. And where do people go if they want to find these scarves? I uh, know. It's Ollie and, and Fred. You know it's, better than me. It's Ollie and Fred. Ollie isn't and it? Fred. Ollie and Fred. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much indeed. Uh, and as you said, sir, uh, money goes towards you guys. Um, right. So we've got two songs. To- Catherine's looking at me. I've met Catherine before at uh, the Pride of Britain. I've met Catherine's mummy as well and her daddy. And uh, we all marched up to uh, Lord Sugar, didn't Lord we? Sugar, yeah. Yes, Lord Sugar. And now Barney, who was on uh, Blue Peter for a long time, has become a friend of yours and has. amazing. We're going, we're going right. Seeing him again on Friday. You're seeing him again on, on Friday. Saturday, He's going Barney, on a Saturday, Easter Panto. He yeah. is. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Easter I Panto. I love the idea of an Easter Panto. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, and I love Barney. Well, I love Barney. Tickets booked now. That's and great. in fact, <laughs> he's coming to sing on this show because he's written a song for a film with a young girl who's 15 who sings it, and it's beautiful. So they're coming to perform it on this oh, show, which is very exciting. Lovely man. Uh, so what are you going to sing for us? You've got two songs. What are we going to have? Yeah, we're going to sing Rise Up, which is by Andrew Day. We sang this on the anniversary of the tax in Manchester City Centre. It's quite an emotional song for us um, because it is all about rising up and, and being together. Um, I have to say, we usually sing it with our professional choir leader and another 50 singers. So bear with us. We're going to do our best singing it a cappella without our friends. Um, But yeah, it's a very poignant song for us. Um, It brings back huge memories of singing on the anniversary of the tax and we love it. Okay, thank you very much indeed. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If it's all right with all of you, I'd like to uh, film it as well and then we'll put it out on our on all of our media feeds as well. So thank you very much indeed. The Manchester Survivors Choir. You're broken down and tired Of living life on a merry-go-round And you can find the fire But I see it in you So we go walk it out And move Mountains, we go walk it out And move And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up, I like the waves, I'll rise up, in spite of the ache, I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again For you, 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 you For you, 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 you For you For you When the silence isn't quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet And move Mountains, we go walk it out And move Mountains and I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up, I like the waves, I'll rise up, in spite of the ache, I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. All we need, all we need is hope. And for that we have each other. And for that we have each other. We will rise, we will rise, we will rise. 
We will rise. We will rise. We will rise. And I'll rise up. I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up. I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up. I like the waves, I'll rise up. In spite of the ache, I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. Go! Well done. That was incredible. Thank you. <laughs> that really was lovely. It was, Absolutely it was, it's quite gorgeous. Something. It's I know how hard it is to sing a cappella because you're <laughs> so exposed. But because I know what you guys have been through and, and it's incredible. And the fact that music has managed to give you this therapeutic output, you can hear it. You can hear it with every line that you sing. It's very special. I'm sure it's everybody's so the same. We uh, like three years ago. If you'd have told me that I was singing a cappella on the radio, I'd have thought <laughs> you'd gone a bit mad. So, and I know that you know we're all just mums and dads and kids with our normal jobs usually. So actually, it's it's a real privilege to come and it sing. It terrifies you. me to sing a cappella. So for you guys to do it, that took massive courage. And well done. That's that amazing. really was incredible. I feel very uh, honoured. I'm very touched that you came on this radio show to sing for everybody that was incredible after the news and the travel um Stephen will join you and what's the next song that you're going to sing for us uh, we're going to sing here comes the sun by the Beatles and maybe we could see if Edward could play it on the piano as well yeah. for you if he can we'll see no no he won't <laughs> no <laughs> Stephen just gave me a look but Stephen you'll sing with them as I'm well and happy. Lucy you I'll will give it a go on the piano yeah. I mean I've never tried but I might you know, okay. I might get lucky there we go <laughs> so there we go after the news we're going to have more from the Manchester Survivors Choir. If people want to find out more about you and the fund and everything, where do they go to? Yeah, we have a Facebook page, the Manchester Survivors Choir, and we also have a Twitter account, which is Survivors Choir. Um, and uh, if you look at us up on YouTube, there's lots of um, videos of us, particularly of us singing at the anniversary of the tax. So yeah, please look us up. Wonderful. Thank you very much again. Oh, wonderful. Very, very blessed to have uh, met you all. I really am. And thank you, Anne, for keeping in touch and coming down here. Uh, yes, as I said, they're going to sing another song for us, but this time with Stephen as well. And we're all going to join in. But right now, it's half past two. Let's get the latest. Uh, so the Manchester Survivors Choir are now going to be joined by Lucy Porter and Stephen Bowman from Blake. And uh, this time, oh, it's lovely. I, may we all join in? Yeah, yeah. please Thank yeah. you very much. And uh, George, our lovely George Burton, is going to be putting this out on uh, BBC Radio London Live on Instagram so uh, you can watch it there as well so what are we going to be singing this time uh, we're going to be singing Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles lovely thank you very much little darling it's been a long cold lonely winter little darling it feels like years since it's been here here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Mm -hmm. Little darling, the smiles returning to the faces. Little darling. It seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Mm -hmm. Sun, 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 here it comes. 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 Little darling, I feel that ice is slowly melting. 
Little darling, it seems like years since it's been clear. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Do 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 do. Yay! <laughs> How wonderful and how incredibly poignant are those words. Yeah. Yeah. And I just got to tell you, in London, honestly, the sun just came out. I see, just for us, because we're not used to that. We're from Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, can I just say, everyone says that about Manchester. Every single time I go up there to work, the sun's shining. Wow. Mm. I've never known it raining in Manchester. Wow. Well, <laughs> that may be you. we're still there when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I know you got up very early this morning to come down here especially for this. But what a pleasure and what an honour to meet all of you. And uh, it really, it really, you've, you've completely made my day, my week. And Mother's Day is just, you've made it bigger and better and more wonderful mm. for everybody. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for inviting you. us. Indeed. How lovely. You can. You're all welcome to now sit down on the floor, take a seat wherever you want. Don't worry. You you have to sing no more. They, you can see the <laughs> as you listen to the very lovely Lucy Porter tell us. As, and Stephen, you're not going anywhere, are you? Either. No. Oh, good. Let me turn your mic on then. <laughs> uh, now, so Lucy, you are a very. You